Texas News bringing you in-depth coverage now. Rhode Island's population is steadily changing. That's according to projections from a major study. And WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi joining me in studio now. You really looked through this study about the differences happening in our population. And they're striking because not so long ago, maybe as recent as the 70s, I understand, Rhode Island was among the whitest states in the country. Absolutely. Rhode Island was right up there with Minnesota, Vermont, places you think of as very much uh, a lot of white people are mm -hmm. not a lot of diversity. Rhode Island used to be like that. Not anymore. This new study shows in 1980, 96% of Rhode Islanders were non-Hispanics whites. Now that figure has dropped to 76% as of 2014, and it's on track to go all the way down to 52% by the year 2060. So the state's population is rapidly, in generational terms, becoming much more diverse. And the big driver here is the growth in Rhode Island's Hispanic population, correct? That's right. Hispanics in particular have grown hugely. You look at the statistics in this study, they were almost zero in 1980. Very few Hispanic Rhode Islanders then. Now Hispanics make up about 14% of Rhode Island's population, and this study expects that to keep growing. By 2036, one in five Rhode Islanders will be Hispanic, and even from there, it will keep rising to more than one in four. Now also expected is some growth in the Asian population Rhode Island, but there'll still be fewer of them than Hispanics will be making up more than 25% of Rhode Island. And this study didn't just look at race and ethnicity. Uh, what were some of the other findings that you found really interesting? Two other ones, Shannon, that I thought were interesting. One that stuck out to me was how marriage is in decline. You're seeing that nationally and here in Rhode Island, too. Back in 1980, only 37% of adult Rhode Islanders weren't married. Married people very much in the majority then, but now it's only been about two generations, but that's flipped. Married couples are now the minority, with just over half yeah. of Rhode Island adults unmarried. And also interesting, generations, millennials, now the largest age group in the state. We've overtaken baby boomers. I say we because I myself am a millennial. <laughs> yeah. uh, poor Generation X was never a large enough generation to be the, the biggest one, but millennials set to be in that top driver's seat till about 2030. All right, Ted, some really interesting findings, and you can read.